So failed ex-president Trump Thinskin recently sat down with Lou Dobbs on Mike Lindell's Lumpy Pillow channel. Mr. President, it's great to see you. And uh, we're now in the eighth year of the political persecution of President Donald J. Trump. That Kool-Aid is some strong stuff. Now, I'm not even going to waste your time with all of Dobbs' hard-hitting questions. So I've combined them all into one clip. How confident are you that you can win and overcome the full array of the federal government against you? Now, as my hero Robert Reich says, Don't let Trump's lies become near truths. Report Trump's lies as lies. Be vigilant. Know the truth and spread it. I'll do just that. And if you could be so kind, please like and subscribe and give me your thoughts below. We have... Uh, the most incompetent president we've ever had has no idea what's going on in the world, has no respect from the world. Although a Pew Research Center poll found that people surveyed in 12 different countries expressed a combined 75% confidence rating that Biden would do the right thing in world affairs, compared to 17% confidence in you. Right now, as we speak, they have the largest caravan of people and name I came up with. Oh, you came up with the word caravan. Well, then I'd quit crying about Biden being old because that would make you at least 435 years old since the term originated in 1590 in Persia. And that's straight out of the dictionary. You can look it up unless you're a student in Florida where they're pulling dictionaries and encyclopedias from school libraries because of dirty words and pictures. To be used to deal with the commission of indictable crimes, indictable crimes. I guess that's a word. And don't forget the dirty pictures. You know, the kind that Mensa Marge likes to whip out on Capitol Hill when she's got a hankering for some hunter. And judging by those photos, she's also mispronouncing his name. It's Hunter. Impressive. If you remember, uh, there was no money going to Hamas. There was no money going to Hezbollah. Now they have the $6 billion that you read about for the hostage swap. Another great deal, six billion for the hostages. Which is also a lie because both House Democrats and your fellow Republicans passed a bipartisan measure last November that would block Iran from ever accessing the money following the deadly Hamas attack on Israel. Come on, Donnie, keep them coming. I change things around a lot. A lot of people think that's why we had the China virus, frankly, because they never had a problem like they did with me. But I don't think so. I think it was gross incompetence. Bravo, Bladderall. You finally told the truth. It was gross incompetence. Yours. Because you ended a program run by the U.S. Agency for International Development, known as PREDICT, that placed dozens of U.S. scientists and analysts in countries around the world, including China, to detect new potentially dangerous infectious diseases and help foreign labs stop emerging pandemic threats around the world a group that had already identified more than 160 different coronaviruses. Why'd you cancel it? Well, it was launched in 2009 during the Obama administration. You know, repeal and replace. When doing uh, windmills all over the place that are the most, by the way, the most expensive energy in the world, you cannot get more expensive. Even though a 2023 U.S. Department of Energy report states that wind power continues to be one of the fastest growing and lowest cost sources of electricity in America, thanks in part to the Inflation Reduction Act implemented by this guy. I believe that the withdrawal from Afghanistan, the way they did it, leaving $85 billion worth of equipment, $85 billion, think of it. I can't think of it because a 2022 Pentagon report said it was $7 billion. Next. If you look at Wisconsin now, Wisconsin has essentially admitted that I won. I won the election up there. Even though you shelled out $3 million for a recount that proved you lost? Now, in your defense, the recount did result in an increase of 87 votes. For Biden meaning you paid $34,482.76 per Biden vote. Wow, you are a great businessman. Man, you are one pathetic loser. Numerous countries are coming up with nuclear weapons, which is the real global warming threat, not the ocean will rise over the next 400 years by a, you know, an eighth of an inch. Well, thank you, Bill Deny the Non-Science Guy. One eighth of an inch in 400 years? Tell that to NASA, NOAA, and the U.S. Geological Survey, who predict that in 30 years, rises of 10 to 14 inches on the East Coast, 4 to 8 inches on the West Coast, and 14 to 18 inches for the Gulf Coast are expected. This is a different country than it was three years ago. It's a country that's no longer respected. It's a company, that, a country that... Hang on, Freud, you had it right. 
It's a company to you, not a country. A company like all your companies where you lie, steal, and cheat your way for financial gain, which is why you can't believe you haven't been able to steal the 2020 election. So, is there any light at the end of your tunnel of lies? Well, yes, because believe it or not, there are some clear-thinking, rational adult Republicans who've had enough of you. Listen to this guy's answer on how to solve the destruction you've caused on today's Republican Party. It's going to take him, to, I think, for Trump just to literally disappear. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad thing to say, but yeah, he's just got to disappear. And then they just got to say, okay, we need to come together because as a whole, this country is divided. Now, it should come as no surprise that Donald Trump suffers from TDS. It's called TDS. Truth Denial Syndrome, a condition where a narcissistic sociopath repeatedly lies about his opponent's successes in effort to brainwash his delusional followers into believing he can offer solutions to non-existent problems in an attempt to avoid incarceration. Look, if you're a MAGA supporter, we need to talk. He never lied to the American people. Come here. He always told us the truth. Come here. I know it in my heart. I know it in my spirit. He has never lied about anything. All right, I'm doing this for you. I just bought this on E. Jean Carroll's new website. Look, the guy under the tree is right. I know MAGA is your identity. It makes you feel smart. Like you know something sinister the rest of us don't. But you're being lied to by the most dangerous charlatan the world has ever seen. We've all been lied to. It sucks. 35 years ago, everything I believed in was stripped away because of a lie. No, girl, it isn't true. And neither is the deep state. And Taylor Swift's not a psyop. And terrorists aren't streaming across an open border. We've got plenty of our own. Thank you very much. And you don't need to hate Democrats or independents or liberals or rhinos or whatever the hell she's pretending to be today. We're not communists. We're not Marxists. We're not your enemy. We're your fellow Americans trying to get through the day, make a few bucks, and practice our own religion or none, control our own bodies, read the books we want, and make sure that everyone gets the freedoms the Constitution demands. And we're all getting really tired of you getting in our way. So like the tree guy says, for the good of the Republican Party, the good of the country, hell, the good of the planet, Trump just needs to go away. And he doesn't have to go far. Six feet would be plenty.